Yes, we are doing ET today, guys. Gonna give it a spacey score and see how it fares up on the rankings. It's a uh, great theme around a awesome movie back in his day. Hasn't quite held up as well as I thought it would actually as a movie, but uh, has a special place in my heart, that's for sure, when I watched it the first time back in the day. So yeah, let's see how this plays in a cabinet format. It's a table that's been out for a while, of course, of Zen's uh, offerings. The Universal, so yeah, let's give it a go. Hey, E.T. <laughs> I think that's probably the first animation I have seen that uh, in cabinet mode, it looks like they made it for cabinet mode. <laughs> E.T.'s actually waving up at you, but nearly always uh, the animations are sort of flat, pointing downwards. All right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, that's right. Gotta do the old. Oh, we, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, actually, am I supposed to get the blue or the green? It would probably make sense. I'm supposed to get the green one. Is that correct? Damn. It's been a little while since I played this. Okay, so other things to note here guys, really nice looking table, um, this nice mix of these orangey colours and the blue up the top, it just looks really nice. Physics are pretty good, that's a nice shot, there we go, straight into the lock. Spaceship there. Ah, that was my fault. <laughs> I'll be right here. Where is? Ah, where is the skill shot? I can't. See, I can't tell from that guy. Up the top there, is it? Spaceship up in the air. Nice little pass from one flipper to the other. What a cool well, what deep humming effect. Drive away from the house with the car. Uh, yeah, let's do that on the escape. One's on the left hand side. Oh, now it's come back to the right. Okay, okay, okay. up a little oh that was nice you wouldn't probably wouldn't have heard that it's a nice bass came in there won't really be picked up on the uh, on the mic it sounded nice and we've got ET uh, sounding like he's eating a, a nice uh, box of chips <laughs> oh they are solid up there in those bumpers Ah, keep missing that left flipper when it comes through. You know, food. Here we go. Oh 
yeah, some nice low notes there, guys. Got a moldy ball. Uh, Contact. Can you eat it? Nice use of lighting, guys. Oh, Craig! Why, why, why? Uh. Good. Every time I get tricked with that left hand flipper in that ramp. Nice one. Oh, I've got to get this in the hole again, don't I? Another spaceship here. Okay. Biology. Oh, what do we. Do we have escapes around? Oh, I'll do biology. Can school their higher intelligence? There we go. What are you waiting for? Let's go! Right. Uh, Please, oh, I, couldn't, I didn't read that for the... Ah, uh, it was too quick, guys. Bye. But I tell you what, I am enjoying this, eh? Like... You know. This layout is very nice for throwing the ball left and right. Back up with those side flippers. Get that lock. Ah, hey, that's nice. Like that little effect. A bit optimistic there. Trying to get that outer side orbit to get that levitate. That one. Nice little pass across with those middle flippers. It's not like you're working, but like working as a team. Halloween. 
There's a little bit of floaty physics to this, uh, guys, too, I noticed, and the ball coming down doesn't quite drop. But for this type of table, <laughs> I don't mind because it's, it's not, it's not um, as bad as uh, Might of the First Order. But this table, you know, it may attract a slightly younger crowd. It sort of, I mean, it holds up brilliantly as an adult table, guys, don't get me wrong, but um, it might just pay, play a little easier because of the, how fast the ball's going, because it's a little slow. But yeah, as I said, it sort of suits this table. And I think if you're gonna have, you know, certain people over who may not be good at pinball, wanted just a cool family fun theme. Are you okay? This is a great table for that. And enjoying it as a pinball table myself, you know, just in terms of uh, the layout, the look, the sound. I'm trying to get those rollover lights. Love in the dark, guys. Love in the dark. Of course, Zen's choice to uh, have the ball and the flippers, um, you know, all lit up and not sort of in tune with the darkness of the table. It's a little bit un unfortunate. Just takes the realism out of it a bit. Rightio, on your bike, Elliot. Go, son, go. Right, launch button to jump when the stick appears. Okay, let's do it. Oh, hey! <laughs> I did it, but it was so slow. Wow, guys. Still it there? Oh, wow, I don't know. I couldn't do that. Nice mode, though. A little bit cut off in cabinet mode. But nice. Hey, wait a second. Oh. Okay, that works. Okay, well, that you should give them some time. Is the game over, guys? And I think we're going to stop it there because it was a really, it was quite a long game that. And uh, again, part of that will seem like a nice, balanced, easier game. Put it down a little more. Um, you know, it was sort of one where it's a bit easier and that, that's good because that, that helps with the theme and uh, the playability for a certain type of audience. So, all right. Well, the theme, guys, uh, straight off the back, it's E.T., it's a classic, it's a classic movie, comes together really well, <clears throat> and in fact, the execution of this is really, really good. Um, all the key elements of it, uh, and it's a great theme, E.T. pinball table again, it's a real table, have it in the house, put it next to your Star Wars stuff, uh, Ghostbusters, all the rest, it would fit in there really beautifully. It's a 10 for me, guys, on the theme, it's just a really, really good theme. Atmosphere is really good, actually. Um, music plays a good pl part of that. The call-outs are good. I was, I, you know, we'll talk about call-outs, but I was concerned they were going to be a little bit um, too much with the children's side of things, but um, the kids call it call-outs. But anyway, no, they all fitted in nicely with the atmosphere and just the the light of the uh, the colouring and the lighting effects and then going into the dark and all that sort of brings that whole atmosphere of the of the movie actually. So I really did like the atmosphere. Um, 
is it a 10? Because it could be. Because everything in there really did come together really nicely, guys. And oh, well, I'm going to give it a 10 for atmosphere. It's just really, really nice. The layout realism is a, is a really nice laid out table. And these, as I said, these flippers working together and just helps with the flow of the, the table. It feels really good. If this was a real table, it'd be awesome. Um, I think it's a, I think it's a nine guys, I think, I think it really is, it's just a really nice, it's a nice layout, getting that spaceship up and then shooting underneath it, it's all, it all comes together really, really nice. Table artwork is really good, really good and really nice choice of palettes, really easy on the eye, just so, so well done. Even though this is basic down the side, those almost look like real miracle blades you get in a real pinball machine. <laughs> um, it's really good. I don't think it's a 10, it's, it's very close. It is so good though, let me have another look at it because that, it may be a 10 guys, it may be a 10 really. I mean look at it, it's just beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a 10. It's just, it's just right up there, that's, that's really, really nice. Uh, animations were, were nice, were really cool. Elliot on the BMX, down the bottom here, got ET waving. Hey, um, all that comes together really nice. I think the animations on this table when the spaceship goes up, they're all sort of appropriate too, actually, which is really, really good. Um, I was going to give it an eight, but I actually think I'm going to give those uh, give it a nine because of the appropriateness to this table, guys. It all works with it and works with it really, really well. Graphical effects uh, were good. Um, nothing really amazing on this table with the graphical effects, but but nice, solid. I'm going to give them a six. The lighting, yeah, is really good really nice it could have a little bit more flashy stuff going on but it's so good in all other respects so i don't think it's quite a 10 <clears throat> very close i'm gonna give it a nine guys oh, that's another nice little animation right at the start there so yeah <clears throat> a nine on lighting dmd was good uh, again 90 style suitable for the table um, nothing over the top, nothing underneath. It's a seven for me, guys, in the DMD. Music was really nice, nice and subtle, sort of built up a bit. Very good, very good, especially for ET. So, um, <clears throat> having said that, I mean, the theatrical music of ET is, is, is appropriate. So yeah, I um, rate it highly. I think it's a, I think it's a good nine. So ni nice music mixes in well with the table. It's really good. Um, sound effects, uh, yeah, are good. They're, they were solid all the way through. Mixed in with the game really well. Uh, I think they're up there at about a. I was going to say seven, but there were some actually really nice deep sound effects that were coming through. Won't come through on the camera, unfortunately that really add an extra dimension, I'm going to give it an 8. The call outs, as I touched on earlier, I thought it was going to be problematic, maybe with too many of the children type call outs, and those can be a little bit um, annoying on a repetitive basis, but they actually came in, you know, sparsely and in the right areas, so it wasn't, you know, there wasn't an annoyance factor to it, and uh, and they were very, very good in, in all other respects, so I actually think the, the call-outs deserve a nine. They're, they're excellent. Flow of the table was really nice, and, like really nice actually, um, which kicks in and make, you know, really animates the, the, the layout that was chosen. Um, so yeah, flow, no problems there. I think it's a nine, guys, if I'm being honest. It's just a, yeah, it's a nice flowing table. Shot interest is, is, is good, um, it's not overly complex with the things going on, but it's good. There's a nice selection of, of, of shots to take, I'm going to give it an 8. Challenge, yeah, it's not a hugely challenging table because again, as I said, the ball's a little floaty, so it plays a little slower, it's a little bit more forgiving. It's a nice table to play though, and probably 
we'll get some points more on the, a little bit on the fun factor side but yeah so challenge for me for this is probably it's still good though i was going to say six i don't think that's fair it's a seven the seven on the challenge the, uh, the physics feel talked about it with the floaty physics so if we come back down from the eight and we really ranked another one you know the um this, the last Star Wars table, we ranked that down to the six where it was floaty. I don't think it hurts this table as much. So I'm going to push it back to a seven. You know, this literally could be just like on a, on a flatter angle. That's sort of what it feels like more so than, uh, than what Star Wars uh, might have the first order did. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that's a seven. The fun, uh, sorry, the, um, yeah, the fun factor uh, is good. So, it's a, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a family, sort of more family-oriented table, but it's still fun for, for anyone to play. And it's just, it's just sort of really nice, the whole, it's nice, guys. <laughs> it's like a nice package, and it, it just has that feeling of, of, of a bit of fun to it. Um, like, what you know, it's sort of like watching the movie, which has some fun elements to it. Um, as well, it's a bit like that actually. It's done that well, so I think it's a, I think it's a six, a six on the fun factor. Replayability. Uh, this is definitely one to come back to, and again, this is another one of those tables to come back to, especially for a certain type of audience, a uh, certain type of player that you may have coming over. But even for me to come back to it and play this again, it's nice. I think you know after you wouldn't want to play it over and over and over again, but it's a strong one to come back and replay as part of a you know a mix of tables that you've selected for the for an evening. So yeah, um, on that basis, I give replayability a solid uh, eight. And then for the uh, X Factor guys, Spacey's X Factor does it get a bump in any other way? All the things that we sort of talked about have been rewarded in all the other areas. Um, I think it's, you know, it was a nice little mode there. It's a shame, though, that, that whatever is happening with the plunger button, I was just not being able to just jump the bike. That was a real shame. Um, but I think, look, this deserves probably just a couple of Spacey's X Factor points, just for the whole package. It's just a, it's a really nicely put together table. It feels complete. You know, it doesn't feel like it's been rushed out and taken care and time putting it together and all the elements to it. So, yeah, I'm going to give it an extra... I was going to say two, but I think maybe it, it, it needs a little... It deserves a little more than that. It's a really cool table. I'm going to give it a four, guys. I'm going to give it a four on the Spacey's X Factor. And so that gives us a Spacey score... And we'll see where that ranks. It should be relatively high up, I would have thought. Some good elements to this table. Enjoyed it a lot. And uh, certainly one to have in your lineup, I think. So uh, that's it, guys. That's it for this particular video. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and share your thoughts as always. And we will uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, ciao for now.